All right, folks, I'm just going to show you how to add an event to the all-in-one events calendar by Timely. So once you log into your site, you'll see your dashboard. It will look similar to this. On the left-hand side, you're going to see a link to events, which I'm now pointing to. If you slide over, you're going to see Add New Event. Click that, and you'll go to the Add New Event page. Basically, what you're doing on this page is filling in the blanks. So first of all, at the very top, you can see there's an event title that needs to get added. And so you'll have that information about your event. Here's the one I'm doing. It's going to be the five element Qi Kong. And I'm going to paste that information in for the event title. Further on down, you're going to see the event time and date. In this case, there is a start time date and a finish date. So I'm going to add those dates. This is Saturday the 20th. of May finishes at 4.30. Oops, I changed that. Cool, and then you can have this repeat. And we're going to repeat this on the following Saturday, if I'm correct. Just double checking. It repeats again on the 27th. So selecting the repeat date of the 27th. And apply. So now this has two dates and a time. Now we just fill in the location. So location in this case is going to be the tracks or center and you can paste in the address which I'm going to get off the website and paste the address in there and Google Maps will end up finding it for you and adding it to the event after you add the uh, the title, the event time, and now we've added the event location. We're going to go down to the cost and tickets. If it's a free event, there's no need to even go here. If it's a cost, if there's a cost to it, you can put it here. Um, it may cost and not have tickets. It may need tickets, uh, etc. But anyways, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's no tickets for this, but there is a cost, and the cost here is twenty-five dollars for each, or forty for two. And I'm just going to paste that in here. So $25, we don't need to have that in there. Each class, or 40 for both. All right. Now this event isn't selling tickets for this event, but they do have an external link where people can go and sign up. And so this is what I'm going to do. Click on that, and I get a little link. Now in this case, this event actually has a place to sign up right here portal or access to sign up. So actually I'm going to add an external ticket, a link to where they can sign up for the class. And that will show up on the front page or on the event. And now, if you want to, you can add a organizer. Um, in this case, we're not going to do that. Not always necessary, but if your organizer is somewhere different than the location, sometimes people want to want to contact the organizer as opposed to the event uh, location people. Um, but in this case they're one and the same so we won't bother with that. But we are going to add the details to this and we'll repeat the title a little bit too. We'll go like this. We don't need that. There we go. And so there's the description. Now the last thing you want to do is make sure you add a featured image. The event calendar looks a lot better with featured image and these featured images should be horizontal or what we call landscape layout. Not portrait, not vertical, because they end up taking too much space. Uh, it just doesn't look good on a website. But selecting the feature image is just like putting a featured image on a page or a post. You go here, you go here, you upload your files, um, and I believe this one is on my desktop. Yep, there it is. And I will add that, and so it uploads. And at what, this point, you can just set the featured image. Now you wait for that to appear here. 
because if you save it without it there, then it doesn't become part of the event. So make sure that image is showing before you before you publish. Last thing you want to do is make sure you categorize this because the categories relate to certain parts of the page. On the yoga page, we have yoga events. On the skiing page, you have ski events, right? And so you want to make sure this shows up on the right page. This is an event. It is also yoga. And so it will show up in both. And you can certainly pick as many events, uh, many categories as you want. Now we're ready to publish. Simply go like this. And then once it's published, you can go check your the front end of your site where people actually go and visit. We'll go down here. We'll actually let's go to news and events and we'll take a look at the event calendar. And we're going to see there's our event. May 20th, May 27th, five element uh Chi Kong at the Tracks Outdoor Center. There's the description. If we click on it, we'll get more details. And those details will include a button for tickets, which will send us to the link where that people can purchase tickets. But that's it. There's a map, time, dates, location, cost, descriptions, photos, an opportunity to share. It's that simple. Basically, just have the information ready, fill in the blanks, give it a category, add your featured image, and post that baby, publish that baby right there. Um, and you're done. Okay, folks, that's it. Hope that's easy for, to follow.